never met a virgin man. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? Like it's Game of Thrones. <laughs> 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 I've never met a virgin man. <laughs> it's just it's one of them ones where you just gotta phone them up. But you know when you gotta talk low, like what do you think you're doing? You know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. saying? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because you're scared that it's tap now. You feel like the phone's tap. Coppo Yo, show. what's going on, people? <laughs> and welcome back to the Coppo Show, formerly known as, as the Coppo Podcast. I go by the name of Big Geordie George. I'm the General George, the one and only George, Juicy Jerk J, and I'm a cinnamon bun lover. And I'm joined here today by my Ndekes. That Have you done that one before? No. Nope. Sounds familiar. Yeah, I feel like you've done one before. No, you've just heard mm. Ndekes. Are you actually meant to say that mm bit? I thought it was like silent. Silent. Mm. No. no, no. Mm. Are you sure? Are you yeah. just saying that because we're on the pod and you can't confer with mm. your correspondent? <laughs> <laughs> um, dog. No. Land or sea? Neither. Yeah. Wait, it's not land or sea. Mm. It's got to be if it's an animal. It has to land. Who said that? It has There's to no be. There's no animal that just flies around All day, all seven. night. You must... They must land must on something. Yeah, to they get can't, something. yeah. Is that is that is that right? Is it? Does it? Is, it, is this a, is it an animal? I'm very so there's nothing that that lands that that uh, that doesn't land. Is it an animal? That's that's yeah. Like, is it an animal? Wait. Does it fly? Wait. Firstly, who, who <laughs> wants to, who wants to have a little bet? No, it's not that oh, bet. No, 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 no. <laughs> does but, it fly? Yeah. Does it fly? Yeah. Is it an animal? So you're saying there's an animal that flies? I don't flies think it's an animal. Doesn't... I don't think it's an animal. No, is it, it has, an animal? It has to be right. No. Not necessarily. Can't thought, be. But you was... can't really just change the game or the rules of the game like that. No, or, but no. But anything no, that flies no. lands. But the thing is that when exactly. it's my game, so it can't be then I make the rules. Is it an animal though? I can't I can't tell it's you too much animal. clues. Yeah, I, but anything that flies something has to land. land. It has to land. Unless it's an element. Yeah, it's like the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the Holy Spirit. It's an element, yeah, like the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, something, uh, that's all I've got, the Holy <laughs> Spirit. Yeah. I want to make a guess. So at least... Say it again. Ndekes. He set us up here, by the way, though. Because Ndeke and it we're, flies. we're thinking of animals and, and he's thinking of something completely different. This thing doesn't touch the, the ground. It doesn't ever touch the ground. Do you know what's so mad? You look have like you look are making up your own stuff, you know. Like, no, no, like, no, no, no. like you know, yeah, I haven't confirmed anything. Yet. That's the well, problem. I'm just, I, like, you look are just saying, okay, so it doesn't fly. No, we're asking. He set us up. <laughs> but you're not answering. It's not an animal. <laughs> not it's not an animal. Jordan. And it doesn't land. Jordan, is it? And an it only animal? flies forever. <laughs> It could be the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you lot are, like, you lot are literally making up your own stuff. Like, you know what? Like, like you lot are like, are like paranoid people. Okay. No, but help Can us Can we then. ask questions then? I'm not helping anymore. Jordan, is it an animal? I'm not helping. But, oh, so but, what? but this one could be the question, easiest. And he said... Like, this could be the easiest one. We asked Land or Sea and you said... Because that's we asked that every single he week. He said he's not he helping. Said, yeah, he no, I can't. said, yeah, I said neither. And that's the only clue. I don't want to play. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm, what, what this is. This is easy. This is not, this is not fun. It's no. easy. You're not even giving us any yeah. clues. I can't think of anything. Yeah. You've, you've stripped away the fun, mate. Yeah. Are you not yeah. really this? You've, yeah, you've, no, you've, you've stripped away the fun. Are you yeah. this stupid? You've ruined, you've ruined, it. It. You've ruined it. it. So when I tell you, like, yeah, what it is, you lot are going to be like, what the hell? Go on, then tell us. It's a bird. They land. They land. They land. And we okay? asked you, land or sea? You yeah, and I said neither. Birds are land animals. A bird doesn't live. On the land. Yes, it does. It does. It yes, lives, it does. A bird does it is in the sky. No, the sky, the sky is extra curriculum. Where, where do they have their kids? They land. In the air. They build nests and hatch eggs. They land in animals. the trees. What? <laughs> no, birds, it. Birds, it. birds are in the sky. Not yes, forever, not though. 24. I'll be honest, I never said that they don't land. We you asked you, 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 you yeah. No, no, I didn't. Watch it back, yeah. I yeah. never once said... No, he didn't say it, it but you, you did not, the not fact say that you, The fact that you didn't answer the yeah, question... Yeah, I just, I, just, I just led you astray a bit. Left it open for interpretation. Yeah, ruining it, man. But that's the easiest one. Like, you didn't even guess. But we did ask you land yeah. or sea, and you said yeah. neither. Like, 
automatically you look for oh my god, it's it's a it's a trick question. Like you only have one guess. I think and, we and then you're all gonna pass away. You're ruining it. You're ruining it. Yeah, you're ruining it. Yeah, you're ruining it. Yeah, Els, AK Mr. Make It Happen. Yeah, it's your boy if you're the one you'll come to see, man. The Tyler, back for another episode. Mm-mm. I can feel eyes. Because <laughs> you know every week we're going to be what, waiting for you I to drop. Someone gave an idea of what I should be called. What, what was, was it? it? Um, I can't remember. N- N- oh. Nutella or something. N- Nutella or something <laughs> like that. God forbid. That's no, what the kids, no, 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 that's no, what the, that's what the kids no. used to call me when I used Nutella. to teach. Nutella. Nutella. Like they used to think they were dissing me like, Miss Nutella. Hello. Did they not call you by your last name? Well, some of the schools I taught in, because I used to teach PE, some of them you can opt whether you want them to call your first name. Yeah. And last, sometimes I'll just say, yeah, let's do first name, just because it's a bit more difficult for them to say. But then if I gave them my last name, they'll be like, Fisher, any fish in the sea? <laughs> they used to really think they were dissing me. Okay. <laughs> or if it was Natalia, they'll be like, Nutella. Oh, okay. chocolate spread. Raw, oh, that's a bit. I'm not having that as a teacher. Yeah, no. Nah. Well, what would but you do? Dissing I, you off like that. I'll that's take out the ruler. <laughs> Right! <laughs> <laughs> I was actually... You know what I mean? <laughs> that's abuse, huh? man. You, that's abuse. The you don't want to be talking like that, though. On the public <laughs> no, platform. Crystal no, on the public platform. Them, or you hit the table. <laughs> it, it depends, Make it clear. It depends when the law came in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, where you can't... You know, if it's, if it's before, <laughs> then, then this would be a child's bottom. Right? <laughs> Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you know what? Anyway, you know what? Moving Actually, on you know what? swiftly. Spanking kids' <laughs> moves. No, 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 no. I don't know. Why is it always 10 left? No, that's, that's no, not no, I'll be honest. No, no, that's, that's, children, I but, no, I'll be honest. I, like, you know, by my standards, that's, Too you know, far. when I play that back, that's a good <laughs> Yeah. Did you ever have anything like that happen in your school? Like what, a, what, teacher? Teacher went across the line. Just in any capacity. Uh, in Guyana. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's teacher, she... Dealt with my bedroom. Oh no! Dealt with him. How? 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 Dealt with my bedroom. How? 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 Like he was, he was getting lippy in, <coughs> in the class. And she said, "Right, you come in." Oh. And he came to the front of the class. And she, and she said, "Right, bend over." And she had a long wooden wooden ruler, like, like you know, like the like the proper long one. Meat and meat and yeah, long. Yeah. Slapped him up. Wah, 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 wah. What, in front of bottom. everyone. In front of everyone. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's not did. right. Still, I thought. Do you know what? I'm not even gonna speak in this classroom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah I wouldn't say it was, a word. It was, yeah. Like I've never seen nothing like that. Like coming from from school here, where you can tell tell the teacher to Just shut his mouth. Yeah, like yeah. like yeah, like to f off or whatever. <laughs> there, like the teachers have, have the same rights there as your parents. Okay to just do what they want. Yeah, that's that's when I thought, nah, this is not, like this yeah, is no joke. I've been well behaved. Yeah. Have you not ever seen anything in school like I've been offered out by a teacher? Swear down, El. Yeah, and I got offered out by a teacher. How did you manage that? This was like year eleven. What, what did the teacher say? Like, to he you? just now he just had enough. What did he say? And he was just like, oh, um come outside. <laughs> yeah, he said, come outside. I <laughs> lost it. I lost it. Like, this is a black man. Nah, um, where's he from? He's like Indian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lost his head. Wait, he said, he said, you know, come he outside. Said, you know, he's basically like, come outside. Like, just come outside. <laughs> and then there was like a, um, what do you call them? The it helper, the helper teachers. A TA. Yeah, yeah. TA. Yeah, the TA. And she was basically like, everybody just relax. Like, it's not. It's like, so funny because I feel like as children, he's we forget like that. Elves. I said, I can take this pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This pussy yeah. is nothing. Yeah, isn't it? I was, I was you? smaller than yeah, I was now. Yeah. Come outside. <laughs> Get up, no. <laughs> no, we actually forget that teachers are humans. Yeah, no. As children, we just think that they're robots. They don't have a life outside yeah, of work. They ain't got stresses going on. And mm. we could just go and be rude to them in school and Disrespect. think that they're just going to be okay. I mm. remember, yeah, I had an English teacher, uh, Mrs. Williams, yeah. And we used to beef. But her husband worked in the school, oh, yeah, and her husband that. was my drama teacher, and like we were to. mad cool. Yeah, I remember. I've met, but, I met them. But I realized later, yeah, when I left school, that me and Mrs. Williams used to beef because she used to have coffee breath. Okay. You spoke your breath and she used to always just come and she talking. So that is the and she's just you. talking. And I just thought it's not fair. <laughs> but imagine having a long ass day. You're just trying to teach, and then someone comes up to you and you just your say, breath stinks. "Your breath stinks." My head's gone straight away. <laughs> straight away. No, like, but to, I, be fair, to be fair, I'm not sure if I ever, if I ever told her that your that her breath stinks. But well, I never told, did you never yeah. told her. Or did you show facial expression? Imagine someone talking. Oh. Mm. 
But do you know what? If she was so old, I don't feel like she would have even clocked. That, her breath because not. that's her everyday breath. Damn. Like, imagine every time you, like, you go Sweet. English, that's what, like, the you're smelling breath. that. Like, without a shadow of a doubt. Mm -mm. She's coming over she's, and, she, and, she's, and she's helping you and she's reading stuff and... Really doing her best. You know? And she used to whisper, so it's like, it's oh, like, right. That's when it smells. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's back of the throat. Popped. Oh, man. I couldn't be a What was your girl. least favourite subject in school? I think everything. My one was art, though. But my one was linked to my art teacher getting beaten up. So he got... Um, it was quite sad, actually. Mr. Blanchard. Really sad. So he... Um, he was telling a student that they can't run in the corridor. Then the student was like, you can't tell me what to do. And then punched him up. But I was there, innit? Because I was waiting outside the class. So if it's sad, why are you smiling? I didn't like him. <laughs> I personally laughed to him. So you was happy when... So when he was getting fist up, he was like, ah, ah, ah! Feeling cool teacher, I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing that. I don't know. What, what year was you in? This is year 11. Oh. And then... Then the teacher next door was that to me, feeling like, who's that student? You know that student. I said, I don't know him. I've never seen him. I think it's his first day. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, right. So after that, me and Mr. Blanchard never, ever spoke properly. And then I failed art terribly. Yeah. I got a, a G, I think it was in D. G? Yeah, it was really bad. I've really never bad. heard of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was really oh, bad. It was really bad. I know you can get a U, but that's just ungraded. I think it was, yeah, G? I think it was a G. It's definitely a G. Yeah. Like, what does G even sound like? I don't, I, don't I don't know. It was really bad. Because I submitted something, but they said, right, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, I, I didn't know you could get a G. I think it's a G. Is it a G? I don't know. Like, yeah, the lowest. If you got, got a G, G, then that I sounds like, like, like the they made that the, the up. Is it? It's a G? G. I think it was a G I got. That means that you must not even put your name. <laughs> you know, you know the grading now is one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, they changed. I don't know it's it now. Mad. Yeah, I'm sure it was a G. At seven, you can get seven, six. So wait, is which one's good? Is seven good? I oh, think one. the higher it's it's one. The, no, the I lower. think seven's good. Seven's you sure? Good. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Hmm. I think. I don't know. Anyway, let's get to all rise. Anyway, so we get into the two questions. <laughs> Not at all. You go shop. I'm not know. sure G is not part of it. No. I can check that boy because. <laughs> all rise. Right. All rise. All right. Court is now in session. Um, yeah, so confessions. I don't have a confession, but I've just had a long week, man. Like, I don't know what it is. I feel like the last week before payday in January is always a very tough time. I just feel like I, was, I had a lot of fun in December. Really feeling it now. Do you get paid early in December? Yeah. Well? And I feel like just this whole week has been very irritable at work. I'm not really enjoying... I didn't have a great week this week, I'll be honest. Terrible. Yeah. All around. Yeah, it's just not, not great. Not feeling very happy. How are you finding your new role? Hard, you know. I'm not going to You actually lie. feel like you're doing work now. <clears throat> because when you're managing someone, yeah, you have to be on job every day. Do you manage a team or one person? I manage a young guy. Okay. So he works directly with me. And the hard part is every day he needs something to do. And he looks at me to do it. And I'm just like, just sometimes don't turn up, man. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Take the day off. Like, because I don't, I want to sometimes stop. But I can't stop when I'm there because I have to lead him. So I find it a little bit hard that transition period, but it's new, innit? It's a new space. So I'm just adapting to it, but we'll get there. We'll get there. How old is he? He's young, 18. Big up Jack. He watches the pod. He likes you lot a lot, by the way. Oh, yeah, cheers, Jack. Jack. Yes, Jack, man. Big up, man. <laughs> yeah, he likes yeah, you your lot. manager's still. an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to call in sick, just call in sick. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just a long week, man. I'm, I'm happy I'm here now, anyway. And the weekend's here. So what if you don't find anything for, like, for him to do? Oh, there's always something for him to do, but it's like, like the problem is he's doing, he's putting a lot of effort and right now he's not seeing the benefit of his effort. So I can see he gets a little bit demotivated. But I have to motivate him even though I'm pissed as well. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's finding so that what balance. what do you do like, to keep him motivated? Just come on, Jack. Like, <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, we can do this. And he's just looking at me like, but when, when's it going to happen, dude? <laughs> when? 
That's yeah. the problem I'm having at the moment. Recruitment's hard, though. Very. And when you've got someone that's just waiting, just literally like a child, but like, go on, what's next? What's next? It's like, fuck. But yeah, we're, we're, we're adapting anyway. It's a new chapter in my life, but we'll get there. It's only January. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep you updated about this journey because it is hard. I just don't want him to leave. That's all it is. So how's things going with you? The what? I'm with the old teammates. Oh, that's done. Tinge is done. Finished. Finito. You've got your candidates and... Your yeah, I've, I've, as I said, pursuing. I've met a couple of people on there. Dating. Had some, yeah. had sex. I I've, haven't had sex this year. Mm. Been celibate this year. Mm. And everything's going well with the candidates. Yeah, man. Positive. Have they watched the latest episode? Yeah, they, they all like you lot as well. They big you lot up as well. Thank you very much. They actually said They that. all. So, so <laughs> what do you say? All? <laughs> <laughs> it's too quick, you know. I didn't even catch that. Isn't one, it? Yeah. It's too <laughs> quick. <laughs> yeah, it's no, too quick. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, um, they watch it. <laughs> I, I, what's you, that you, DMX song? <laughs> there was Brenda and the no, teacher. Got, so <laughs> <laughs> Brenda. The, the teacher. Don LeSean. <laughs> our man said Sabrina. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, um, Everyone's well. Yeah, they watch it. And um, yeah, they, they really like you lot. They like Ty. They said this. Good Ty that you guys got a female on there as well. So, yeah, it's good. It's very well. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's all I want to speak about. We'll keep checking in anyway. Yeah, I'll keep you updated accordingly. How's anything you lot want to confess? How's anything to confess? Uh, no, not I weren't gonna quit boxing, but oh, I thought it was gonna no. say his job. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even bring that up on here anyway because they watched the pod as well. But um, yeah, no, nah, I think these last couple of weeks for training, we added. Normally we'd spar like before, but this time like it's it's like proper sparring. But we did something called Shark Tank um, this week. Mm-hmm. I've never done that before, innit? I've only seen it on like YouTube and shit. But basically, explain it. So Shark Tank is say there's four people in the class, yeah. Mm-hmm. At the end of the session, so after you've done the warm up or like the workout, then you've done pads. Mm-hmm. After that, bear in mind like you're knackered. Yeah. So now, say this, yeah, four people in the four people in the class, you have to fight each person in the class back to back. <laughs> Why? That's just what the trainer said. Like, yeah. What? So like what's like round, round, round? Literally, yeah, just so, so it's like nine minutes basically. No, three minute rounds. No, 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 okay. not, not three minutes round. You like, you'll either do like one to two minutes, innit? Okay. But you've been knackered. I'm asthmatic. Yes, yes, that's that's a very important point. I'm asthmatic. Secondly, I'm the lightest okay. in the class. Everyone else is like middleweight, like 80, 90. Okay, so, so they're like so light heavyweight. So you're just getting dropped. So no, no, I didn't get dropped. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. That being said, <laughs> when a man punches you. In your face, yeah. Cool. It's boxing. You're gonna get hit regardless. Once or twice. Right. Cool. Yeah. But you're doing round after the round bell. after round, and there's three people. And bear in mind, like one of the people that I train with, he's I think he's ex-pro, or like yeah, he's ex-pro oh, footballer. No. So he's mad fit. I'm in the ring. I think he might have been the second person I'm fighting. Mm. So he's just dancing around, dancing around, dancing around. I'm knackered. Like, <laughs> like I'm just, I'm basically just like this, yeah, breathing heavy. I just thought, no, nah, I don't think I'm, I'm on this anymore. Yeah. I, think gonna, I think I'm going to cut this out. But then afterwards, I caught my breath. I just said, yeah, no, nah, I don't think I can do this every week, but maybe. Every now and then. Every now and then. Yeah, every now and then. No, but you'll get mad fit off that, though. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, box, nah, is very good for fitness. Like, it's fun. Until you get knackered and then someone's punching you. Punching you. Yeah. You start getting vexed. Like, no, stop that's, hitting that's, my face. That's, that's the issue. Because when yeah. you get vexed and then you just start swinging back. can't fight. And yeah. then the trainer's shouting at me like, wait, wait, wait. Because they can get in trouble. If, if you not start hurting yeah, each other. Yeah, or like a man actually angry and then you're all on like just punching <laughs> each other. Like, you're not meant to like full on swing at someone's head. Okay. It's, dangerous, isn't it? it's jabbing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like jabbing or like. like so is this with the head guard on? Or, yeah, head guard okay. every time. And then you have heavier gloves as well. Yeah, because that's what made me stop boxing. Oh yeah, I remember I was story. <laughs> like I was really into boxing back in the day, and I was doing my thing. Like I was coming up, I was coming up through the club. Like I started off, I was <laughs> getting me like I was like, like honestly, like like I started off, I, I was all quiet and that. 
you know, southpaw because I'm left-handed. Yeah. And then, like, each week, I'd, I'd spar someone, in it, Yeah, but, but in the sparring session, I was doing my thing. So, like, sometimes I'd even spar for, like, three minutes, yeah? Yeah. And then he'll be like, no, 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 stay in, yeah? yeah. And then and then someone else would, would, I would yeah. jump in. So then one week now, one, uh, one guy come, yeah, one little small, like, skinny, feeble guy. I'm yeah. thinking, oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but the bar goes, ding, ding, ding. I see man, I'm like, you know, like... <laughs> like his stance, I'm thinking, oh shoot. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you doing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bobby hit me with a with a psh, psh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, well, raw, like, 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 you know, straight like, a, like a, <laughs> straight in your face. Yeah, straight, straight in it, like, I had no games. Yeah. <laughs> then he gave me a mad combo, yeah, like, no lie, the head guard went to the left, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I'm looking, and I'm I'm looking through the through the air bit, <laughs> and and because he hit me in my nose, yeah, my eyes is is all watering and that. <laughs> no, that's... So your eyes just watering through the air. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't wipe your eyes. No, you can't. Yeah, <laughs> so I've, yeah. I've 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 stopped in that now. Yeah, but. But, uh, but I'm blowing as well. Like, I'm like... <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm blowing, shock, I'm crying, and I'm looking through the ear thing now. So <laughs> I've taken it off now. Yeah, I, I, like, like, I fixed up. And then the coach is like, yeah, yeah, you got a minute and a half left. I said, oh, my days. Mm. Do this no that's, yeah, that's long for fighting. No, I had, to, I had to film it. You can't leave the ring. That's mad uh. embarrassing. But... But one thing that I can say is that that place hasn't seen me again since. <laughs> <laughs> Packed up my stuff after, after that. <laughs> so <I'm out. laughs> cancel, cancel the direct debit, and that was it, man. <laughs> Got humbled in the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. So. What about you, Ty? Anything to confess? Well, I don't have a confession, but I've noticed something about myself over the years. Um, I think that the receptors that send signals to my brain to tell me that something is like danger or something hurts or something's too hot don't work for me because I'm always hurting myself. That's called dyspraxia, do you know that? Really? Mm -hmm. Can you spell it? No. What but you, I, what <laughs> no, so when you, it's that like when you constantly miss, like you might like open the cupboard, it might hit you in your head or little things like that. Do. So. It's called dyspraxia, the, look it up. So. Basically, today I was, I think you can see my plaster, I was washing a cup and the cup, it cracked on my hand, but I didn't feel anything until I just saw it pouring with blood. Yeah, yeah. But these things happen to me so often, like I will, like I can hold really hot items or I'll go to take something out of the oven and be like, forget to get the glove and I'm always burning myself, I'm always hurting myself. I hit my head the other week. On what? On the cupboard. Yeah, yeah. I just, so you're I taking... <clears throat> Shepherd's pie out of the oven with no, no oven. No. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's <laughs> madness. But you, know, but you know, like a Dutch pot gets really hot. I'll be the person that will right. take it off. And my sister used to always say to me, can you not feel heat? I'm like, no, my grandma like does it that, takes, you know? It takes a while for me to feel pain. Really? Yeah. And I, I think that my receptors don't work. It doesn't tell me something's hurt, hurting me. And it's supposed to send the signal to my brain to say, Tyler, how, this is dangerous. How, how long is it? Years, years Years now. of Years of delay before you get Oh, the, no, I thought you meant oh how long it's been going on. Say, you're <laughs> numb, you're <laughs> numb. <laughs> you're really no, numb. No, it takes a while. It takes a while. <laughs> okay. For me to, I'm always burning myself, hurting myself. But there's someone else that it happens to. I messaged her the other day on Insta because she said it. And she's like, oh my gosh, I thought it was only me. I'm like, no, it's me as well. Like, yeah, I just, Google dyspraxia. See maybe. if that covers your... You think it's a girl thing, though? Clumsiness. I am quite clumsy, but no, this is different because for me not to feel clumsy women. For me to not feel the pain, careful, it's something careful. just yeah, careful, no. careful, sorry, careful. Sorry. careful. So, no, you think no, women no, are clumsy? No, 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 no. no, I am quite clumsy. However, <laughs> this is something said, deeper. No, 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 no. <laughs> but yeah, that's my not confession, but yeah. Yeah, maybe you got 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 an, got an approximate. Dyspraxia. 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 Dysp
right. my coordination right. is good. Rub your oh, head and pat up. your belly. <laughs> my, my coordination is fine. It's not that. Okay, so it's that like I don't feel pain. Like, one time, I left the cupboard open and I'm unpacking the shopping. I got up and went, whack. Wow. My head's pouring with blood. Like, it's like, and I'm just like, okay. Like, what? yeah, it's, it's quite strange, actually. I've got it. Might be a goth. <laughs> a g- <laughs> What's that got to do? <laughs> a goth. With a anything. Got it. Do you know what a goth is? He's dumb. Do you know what a goth is? <laughs> dumb. What are you referring to? A you goth. Know, yeah, 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 just, just yeah, don't even. Finish, don't. Finish. A goth would whack their head off the cupboard. <laughs> self harm. How do you know that? So you put in self harm and goths together. Is that what <clears> no, what I'm just no, I'm just saying that that you know these are these are these are gothic traits. <laughs> <laughs> I once had a friend that was a goth. When she used to smack her head on the cupboard. It's quite alarming. That might be a mental she had, illness. Oh, she had dark hair as well. Like, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had had black lip, um, black um, fingernails? Yeah. Another one, no. Not really my style. <laughs> <laughs> it's like never ever. No, never. Yeah. Weird. What do you think of like when you see Goth. like people with black no soils? Like, <laughs> like when you see people with black nail varnish or black lipstick. There's a girl that I know. She always has black nail varnish. It's not, it's their always. Style, isn't it? That's just her thing. The only thing I yeah. It's how it's done. So, like for example, yeah, you see, like if a girl has, like, let's say, say lip gloss, yeah, or or uh, no red lipstick, yeah. So, like normally, if a girl has has red lipstick, you think. Okay, yeah, like she's trying to look a bit, you know, saucy. Yeah. <laughs> when a girl has black lipstick, yeah, what is like? What's the what aim? Does that yeah, yeah. I love. It's hard. I love. What look are you going for? Be, be, there, because it's their aesthetic. It's their it's their aesthetic. Their aesthetic. Yeah. But do you reckon yeah, that they put on on black lipstick and think, oh, they oh, might I just look, think rock on. Oh, I look sexy. Yeah. 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 In their own way. Well, yeah, if it's their style, yeah. Maybe in their community of. Other people that do that—that's what it identifies as sexy. So there's a, a guy lippy. looking at, at them and thinking, "Oh, look at yeah, her in that black, there's men in that, that probably lippy. think, oh, black lipstick, tattoos, yeah. black nail varnish. That's right up my street." Yeah. I agree with Natalia. I agree that's with Natalia. Piercing on your eyelids. What? Yeah. Piercings on the eyelids. I, <laughs> I don't think that's possible. It's different styley though, isn't it? That's what you think, else. I was be talking about goths here. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? it was you and goths today. Anything's possible. Honestly. What do you like, Ben? Do you like a bit of black lipstick? Black lipstick. See? Jeez. See what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Black. That, that's what Ben likes, you know. That like Avril Lavigne. Smoky eyes. Okay. When they're just fucking Smoky him up. Eyes. Just like, just... So, Ben! <laughs> ben! What is wrong <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fair enough. Mm. So yeah, if, if there's any emo women on here, please we have a Yeah, Ben's interested. Yeah. Do you have anything to confess to the court? Yeah. No, you know. <coughs> Nothing at all. Sure. Clean week. Sure, sure. Mm. <laughs> what, what? What? Why are you saying me? Anything you want to share? I've been you know, I've been laying low. Why are you stupid? Just stupid. Yeah, what? I've been laying low. Just stupid. Why? There's nothing wrong with it, but hearing someone say, "No, I'm just laying low." You've, like, you've been yeah. really uh, miserable, haven't you? No, I've just, I've no, <laughs> I haven't. I've just, I've just been a bit tired. Yeah, I've, I've, I've like, I've been working like really, like really hard this week. Okay. Non stop. Yeah. So you know, I'm just, I'm looking forward to having some, some, um, some downtime. No, so, you know, I'm laying low. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Cool. All right. So, uh, to kick off questions, um, I was thinking about the future. So, in regards to, like, children, yeah, is there anything that you've done with your parents that you say that you're definitely going to do with your kids moving forward? Is there any, like, tradition? It could be anything. Is there anything that your parents done with you that you will say, you know what? I'm gonna make sure I do that with my kids as well. It weren't my um, <coughs> mum, but it was my grandma. So my mum used to pay her rent, and then when my mum was finally ready to move out, she had saved all the money 
that she used to pay for rent and gave it back to her. So they put down like a deposit or something? Uh, I think she already had her money ready to where she was going to move up, but it's just extra money to maybe furnish the, furnish okay. the house. A lot of people do that, you know. I just thought it was sick. I yeah, a lot of people yeah. do like that. that. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people do I that. Run, well, hopefully I've got I've been, money I've, to run I've been paying the mortgage direct. <laughs> His bread. I've been paying the mortgage direct, so I'll be getting that money back. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what's, wait, what's the question? Is there anything that your parents done with you that you will continue to do with your children? And to, it could be anything. So to be fair, there's something that my mum done with me that I won't do to my children. Okay. <laughs> I will, <laughs> I will never forget the day when my mum said, Jordan, you will now do your own laundry. Why? So you're going to do your kids' I laundry think, the whole time? I, I the think time. that was that was horrible, you know? Like, that felt like like I was kicked out. Why? Like, because laundry... Fion, like, a washing machine, yeah? Mm. I, like, I honestly feel like a washing machine is a mad machine. contraction. Just put it on the no, 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 no. My one, there's so many different. There's one to 13, yeah? One to 13. Then you open up a drawer thing, yeah? And there's no signs to say what goes where. There, there is. They have like a little. You know what? Like a little logo or a little, like, in room to put powder here. Mm. No. It's rubbed out. It must be. <laughs> <laughs> Ironing, yeah? My mum, she used to do all my ironing on a Sunday, yeah? I remember ironing. You can't expect her to do it for everything. Would you, so would you do that for your, like, would you wash your son's sweaty, At, shitty boxes? When he's boxers, 30. When he's... I was shitting myself. 30? <laughs> At 30 years old, you're going to do that for your child? <laughs> <laughs> we can come to, start, come to some sort of, no, we can come to some sort of something. What? What's your the something? Your mum does enough for you. Hmm? What's yeah. the something? Yeah, yeah, what's the something? Because I don't really see a middle ground. Because from what I what you're saying, I feel like I'm with your mum on this. Yeah. She needs yeah. to stop doing these things. No, but I was young. How young? How 15. Young? That's not that's, young. Yeah, that's not young. That's not young. That's too old. That's she what... shouldn't be washing down your... No, man. No, maybe I was younger. Stuff. No, I could have been 15's younger. 15's old, you know. That's year 11. No, I could have been younger. I could have been Man's younger. about to step into college. No, yeah. I could have been younger. 14 and a half. But imagine, <laughs> but imagine if your mum continued to do your washing. When you move out... You ain't going to know what to do. You're not going to be able to do yeah, anything. Yeah, true. All right, can I be honest, yeah? What? I think, I think the hardest part, yeah, and this is something that I've never got the grasp of, yeah, mm -hmm. is like a laundry schedule. That is yeah. hard. So I think, I think maybe that's why it's so frustrating because there'll be times, yeah, where I could just do all my washing yeah, so I'm fresh. Like there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a clean slate. Mm -hmm. After four days, there's there's whites, there's colours. Yeah, but uh, there's uh, there's synthetics. <laughs> synthetics. Wool. Yeah, it's just it's just it, it's just too much. I think I think that's one thing that you need to get around in your head: the fact that washing is going to be something that you have to do consistently. It will never end. It's never it's a never yeah. ending chore. Yeah, because. If wait, you empty, you wait, still, wait, the clothes are wearing wait, you are telling me things, yeah, yeah. that I know. This is, this is, a, this is the <laughs> illness, yeah, that I'm <laughs> suffering with. <laughs> Wash your clothes out, You might just have to do Wash it Wash your clothes out, Do it's, one, one it's, load a day. Yeah, one load a day can work. Yeah, one load a day. That way, by the time you put the next load on, the load that you've done the day before should be dried. You take it off, fold it up, put it away. Whilst that load's on, when that load's done, you hang out. Is it overwhelming because you go gym as well? Because it's literally... Yeah, gym yeah. clothes is mad. As soon as you take your gym clothes yeah. off, they're going straight in the and then, and then what happens is you just is you just move clothes from the bed to the sofa, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know, you and you get up, you know, or you make the bed, you move the clothes back to the back to the bed. <laughs> because, like, like folding up clothes and stuff, it's, 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 it's long. It's, it's long. long. Yeah. yeah, it's long. And my back, how about that? This is it. Push your back. It's in my back. All the low drawers and everything. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's too it's, much. It's my least favorite chore. It is. Yeah, and then I, and then I think washing up. I don't mind washing up. I like washing. I've up. even got a dishwasher and I still wash up. Yeah, like no. So that just shows. I don't, I don't mind, mind washing, washing up. up. Yeah, no, washing up. I think I think my best chore is probably I'm taking out the rubbish. <laughs> no, I don't like that either. You know how much no. cardboard you have to fold up? No, I don't mind that one. Cause I got, I got a plastics, a cardboard, and a bin. So when I'm feeling lazy, you just I, mix it. 
no, I just do all three. I'm at once. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You, yeah, 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 yeah. One trip and then it's done. Like ten minutes. Yeah, like two minutes and then you're done. But washing up. It's just a lot. Too, yeah, it's, it's, it's adulting too much. Is a lot. Adulting is a lot. Mm. Has anyone ever washed up after Christmas? Of course. Uh, you know, I've like to this day, I think I've I've dodged every Christmas. Because you did go out. No, like I think someone else ends up. Like, You've got family around that. It's not their house because that's normally what happens. Yeah, they, someone yeah. else will be like, "No, don't worry, like, I'll get the dishes." Yeah, I think so. I think the most I've done is probably dried. That's right. nothing. Yeah, that's just so standing I'm, there with the cloth and that's nothing. Talking shit and just <laughs> no, <laughs> not talking shit. I'm working. That's nothing. Man. I'm doing chores. I'm choring. Yeah, that's not. Ryan's nothing. Yeah, that's not that much. Man. Anyway, sorry. But yeah, um, no, we didn't answer yeah, no. the question. You didn't answer the um, question. I think something that I do with my son that my mum used to do with me is every single time I pick him up from school, I have little snacks for him. Mm -hmm. And I know that's something that he's going to remember because I remember when my mum used to pick me up and I she always, always used to bring me crisps or just something small. And I used to just be like, oh, after school. You know when you've got that you hunger belly pain? Yeah. And you've got a nice little treat after school. So now I pack my son a piece of fruit, biscuits, and a packet of crisps. For the journey, for the in the car, every nice. single time I pick him up. That's nice. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, gonna remember nice. that. I think with me, my one would be um, my dad got nicknames for me and my brother, but like nicknames that he that like, calls us. So only him. So he calls me champs because I'm like his firstborn son, so like my champion, and he calls my brother the main man. I'll have similar things with my kids just to give them like some sort of nickname based off their character. Uh, yeah. It's the only thing I'll keep. I think. He wants to say something. Then, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what, 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 I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I, I know it's the, it's the, Bab's twitching. It's the, it's the main man bit. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> what the, what the, I haven't said anything. No, we can exactly, tell what exactly. you're on. That's really no, nice. That, that, that's really, really nice. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, oh, fuck. Um, staying on that like, topic with kids and stuff, a lot of our friends' kids are kind of like, they're getting older or they're like secondary school and things like that. Um, one of my friends asked me as well, like, how do they deal with this? But how would you deal with your child's First heartbreak. Like you can notice that like you can actually see that well, they're, they're heartbroken about I, something like that. I, I think it depends on the on the sex of the child. Why? And on the sex of the of the person that's broken my child's heart. Explain. So like yeah. a girl, let's just say a girl, for the purpose of the question, how would you deal with your first your like your your daughter's first heartbreak? Yeah, yeah, well, somebody else yeah. has to experience <laughs> some sort of breaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's <laughs> yeah. heartbroken. Yeah, and break your face. Yeah, like, yeah, like there has to be, you know, a breakage to obviously repercussions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to equal things out. I'm going around me. I'm going. Around you're gonna me. break my daughter's heart, <laughs> and then you're gonna put her through through trauma that could mash her up for the rest of her life. Have you seen a, a lot of these women else? Yeah, what? The mash up, they're crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's true. And, and, and you want to turn my daughter, daughter into, one of them. into that? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. I'm... Yeah, I don't know how. No, jokes just aside, I, I actually, actually, I don't, I know, don't know how I would. I'll speak to them. Just tell me what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what I would do. I'll just have to have a good I might, relationship. I might maybe have to have to make sure that she just stays away from boys, like for, like, for no, time. Man, that's hard, Jordan, man. Like That's I might have to lie then, to her. Like, think about gonna turn the girl. And just be like, honestly, when I was your age, a lot of these girls, they were done out here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you know, want to be one of them? I, you know what's funny? I know <laughs> you will say that to me. Well. No, you have to. You're going to be a jetty, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you feel like a jetty. Trust me. No, no you got to do that. You feel like a jetty. Like, you need to put her off of boys. But it's hard, though. It's hard. But you know what heartbreak leads you to? Crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> like you got, like you, like, like, like you got to really, like, bro, like the her. It's hard. Though. Like the it's hard. her. No, Heartbreak. It's hard. It's hard. Crack cocaine. Homelessness. You have no job, <laughs> no career, <laughs> no car, no family. Oh, Arlie, Arlie. You no, have no it's dads. Hard. It's hard. It's hard. You have no dads. No, it's still, it's hard, man. No, no, you have to no, do it. You have to do it. Like, I put it like this, yeah. Think about, let's say. The women that were very promiscuous back in the day. Do you think their parents knew what was going on? 
Probably not. Yeah, but they weren't clued up like I will be. Huh? So I'll read. Months, some had issues. Yeah, some yeah. didn't. Me, I'm still not everyone had issues, but that's what I'm trouble. saying. But like, do you think their parents know? You can't no. know. I think that us as parents, we're different though. Well, our, like, our generation are very different. They yeah, were clued up. We're yeah. a bit more. I think. I think we have. We're really doing well with in terms of um, being able to communicate with our children. I believe, and I feel like we have quite a, like closer relationships with our kids. Just what I've observed. Okay. Not in every scenario, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I do think that it may be easier to talk to our children than it was for the gen- our parents' generation to talk to us. Mm. Like I need to, I need to, I need to put fear in her. Like no, I definitely be like, like you have to, like you have to let her know things. that, like you mess with boys, what crack about cocaine, your son? homelessness. What about your son? Oh, then that's a different story. What? So so what how are you going to manage him? The complete opposite. And say what? Man up. Mm. Yeah, me, you in the ring now. Yeah, I'll go down to Elsie's El- 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 <laughs> boxing gym and, and, and do the four rounding. So what, if he's a, so why? What would in what scenario are you telling him to man up though? If he's if I walk in and he's and he's crying that 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 woman's unbroken. So gonna fist him up. That's, I'll definitely that's tell you, disgusting. I'll, I'll definitely say you've got that, about wait, wait, that's five disgusting. minutes. Wait, wait, wait. To mourn it, you have to get back up. Because you're going for his broke out with his girl. Right, go into the ring. <laughs> That's I'm horrible. Not, I'm not doing that. You're going to fix up your son. Man. So oh, he's, oh, 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 his dad <laughs> batting him up <laughs> and he's got no woman. I, he's going to be... I, I won't fix him up. I will do pads. We'll do pads. <laughs> Left. <laughs> Double jab hook. <laughs> like, <laughs> Let like, me do that. Double jack hook, cut, slip, roll. Like, like, slip, roll. Like, like, I'll be on that. I'll be on that. Yeah, you can't no. be winding uh, your son. I definitely tell my son get up though. Don't sit in the dark. Rise up oh, yeah, now. No, but to be fair, uh, no, 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 I won't. I just, no, but I, you should tell your daughter that as no, well. Like, no, you, let it's okay know. to feel the emotion and cry if you need to, but after that's done, you need to rise up now. No, I, that's no. it. I tell my daughter, see, look, see. So you're saying you that you're You see son... what messing with boys gets you? <laughs> he's, he's Tears. Me, Tears. Look at your room. Look at the puddles in your room. Look at my carpet. Look at my carpet. You're horrible. Uh, horrible. Look at my carpet. 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 <laughs> serious, serious shit. No, you can't be like that, man. A serious oh, shit. Oh, man. It, not, it, yeah, it's a hard one. Question. Mm-hmm. Do you believe in coincidences? What, what do you mean? mean? Do you just believe that it's a real thing? A coincidence? I so do. a coincidence is something that... Um, what's a coincidence? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm No, doing. I know what it's like, like. It just means that like something... Context, yeah. Something happens that you feel like was meant to happen, like something that comes together and you think, oh, this Absolutely. Is, you believe in it? I, That's how like, my I life do. is lived. Like, you know, sometimes, yeah, like you might be driving down a road, yeah, like a side road, mm-hmm. and then you see like your bedroom, and it's like, if you took the next road or you was like you 10 seconds late, her. then you wouldn't have seen her. I feel like that's a coincidence. Or things like when you're talking sometimes, yeah, and in your mind, like like the next word that that like you might say could be glasses, but uh-huh. then... But then the TV says like says glasses or something like that, or like that a line. Is that a coincidence? Let yeah, me see yeah. what the definition is. Yeah. yeah, it's a coincidence. Is a a remarkable concurrence of events or circumstances without apparent casual connection. It was a coincidence that she was wearing a jersey like Laura's. That two people turn up in the same outfit. It's a coincidence that he was that that he was on the same road that. I was on. Yeah, no, I believe in them. Yeah, if that's the case. Yeah. Why? What spurred this on, Natalia? Pardon? And what spurred this question? Um, no, I just wanted to know because some people say they don't believe in coincidences. They believe everything happens for a reason. Yeah, that's why I, I think. Sorry, I, I think I believe. I believe everything happens for a reason. I don't know if I believe in coincidences. I believe that everything that happens in life is aligned. It's supposed to happen. Why can't both be true? And, that, and that's another thing as well. It may be, maybe like everything, that coincidences are something that is meant, meant to, happen. to happen. Do you get what I mean? It's just a, just a thought. Chicken and egg really, isn't it? It's that kind of. Hmm. Let's see what you look for. 
Um, how long do we reckon that people's character will live with them for? What do you, what mean? Do you mean? So, like, for example, you see, like, now, like, we could see someone and be like, oh, yeah, no, my man's a madman. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, my girl's a jezzy. <laughs> like, like, how long will this continue for? Because I genuinely what, believe... What, to us or, or... No, like, to us. like Yeah, like, to us. So, I genuinely believe that in 10 years... It'll still be there. So, like, for example, there could be a jezzy from school. I left He's school in, in 2009, yeah. So, mm -hmm. that's... That's what that's that's 15 years ago, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but if I still see a jersey from school, she's still a jersey, she's, too. yeah. Like, she's still a jersey. Um, have, you, your have, opinion, you, have you seen the clip where Drea says that your homeless can be wiped out no, a few years ago when she was a hoe? I'm not trying to hear that. You don't, you don't think homeless can be wiped out? No, okay, let me give that. let me oh, have let me give you an example. If you've laid that with, 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 with 50 men. Wait, I'm not. I'm not saying it can. I'm just oh, asking remove you. Remove the deaths off their what record. What about what about the women? <laughs> I've seen this. This is happening a lot. What about the women who um, have been very promiscuous? Yeah. You know, been a so hoe. They've enjoyed themselves. Very much so. But now they're reaching to an age where they realise that they want to find a husband and kids. They're mm. turning to God. Yeah. And you know they're keeping themselves at home. Mm. Are them? Are, th are those women still a hoe? No. No. They're just a holy jersey. <laughs> yeah, they just had a whole past. I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. You, but are they like, still a hoe? That's, that's what you're asking. That that doesn't can't, like, 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 doesn't, doesn't, be a hoe doesn't wash off the body count. But, that, but um, that, that's, that was your question. Are you still a hoe? And you're saying yes. Your character is your character, right? And you're saying if you was a hoe from back in the day and now um, you've okay, turned I to God, you you're no, saying you're that. You're not a hoe anymore. Oh, I see what you've done here. Just, <laughs> I see what you've done. You've got me. You got me. I'm sorry. Yeah, asking. you're not a hoe anymore. Because if you you're if not. you're if you if you're not low no longer living that life, who are we to say that you're still that person? Right. Because you've now moved on. And However, elevated. would you would you if someone said to you, like, I'm gonna do that, Natalia. I'm sorry. This is why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. If someone if a, if you sat down at a, down on a like date this. on a date with a woman and she said, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I'm a Christian woman now. Um, really looking to, you know, have a family and kids. But... Well, she wouldn't even finish the sentence. But... It, it would simply be... Waiter! <laughs> Waiter! It would simply be... So basically, but what you're saying is, you still see her as a hoe, even though she's not doing the act of it anymore. So what? So you're basically saying she's still a hoe because you can't accept her past. Because no, she's I, like, I was outside. I, I, like, she might I was... not be a hoe, but... I, I'm, so, I'm, uh, I'm too insecure to take Wait, I'll bring the bill. I'm That's sorry. Is this the insecurity? Yeah, I can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't you take can't, that on. Yeah, so you you're can't. basically saying you might not be a home now, but because of your history, I can't go there. Mm. That's what you're saying. Because yeah. of my ego. And I'll be honest. Would you prefer women just to not mention her history then? No. What? It's hard. 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 It's not easy. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Oh, it's, it's, hard. it's hard. I'm asking. Like, no, you want to know? You want to have a clue? Why are you asking these? Yeah, over the topic. Yeah, you want to have a rough idea? Silly questions. I'm just here. I'm just here. You want to have a rough idea? You want to have a rough idea? So you say to her, like, yeah, like, rough idea. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? You know what? Yeah. What if she was a handful? What if you're like? Is it the handful? What if you're on a? What if you're getting to know her and three months has passed, but she's like, yeah, yeah. When I used to link Darren, oh, I went here with Ian. Oh yeah, when James no, took yeah, me, no, 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 it's no. too much. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's too Wait, and we're in the car. Like just any time you're with her, she's going past met, different spots. She's isn't it? Just, just, just. <laughs> 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 so that's it. But she's a, but she's a, she's, she's a Christian. Yeah, she's, yeah. A Christian she's, she's, she's a Christian woman now. But you know, like she's yeah. a Christian woman. And, but we're and she refers through. to it as like you know, in her unholy days. Oh, Ian took me there. Keep that to yourself, James, man. James, I'll tell her, don't be bringing up the, don't be bringing up the past. I'd glaze over the top, like, bring it up here and there, and I'll make the decision for myself if I can stay. Yeah, but if you're in the car every time we're going, oh, I went yeah, there, then I'm my yeah, man, yeah, and yeah, then Like, you're driving through Soho, Monday. you're driving past, <laughs> past sexy fish. Oh, I was in there with her. <laughs> yeah. So that's, the, and and the Novikov comes up, oh, yeah, yeah, I was in. And the Ritz, oh, yeah, I had a night in the Ritz. Yeah. <laughs> so the conclusion is, a woman cannot delete her wholeness, or she can delete it for herself and God, but when it comes to you at being her partner, it can't be deleted. Are we agreeing on that? Yeah, only God can judge her. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, do you know what to... though, yeah? But I generally feel like, you see, sometimes, yeah, it's it's down to the guy... And where he's at. Yeah, because, because like, this is just how we think, innit? 
but it's not right or wrong. This is just our Other personal preference. Other men may not. Some men yeah, don't mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like some men wouldn't mind. mind. Some men wouldn't even ask a, lot yeah, of exactly. a woman yeah. about yeah, her past. past. I like some men Dive just into the relationship. Like some men just see a woman and think, Do you know, what? this is like this is me. But I feel like there's certain things that I need to know. Yeah, so, just have so, a rough yeah, idea. So for example, if you've been with 150 guys, mm-hmm. I I'm I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need to obviously know. No, every, the exact number. Oh, close, 149. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, so what you're saying, you need to know your partner's body count? No, no, no. But That's I, not something you'd ask. Yeah, no, no, no. But I just but I just need to just have a... A rough idea. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Rough idea. Just rough, like, what was going on. Yeah. How was things I like, is it, like, is, you it, is it a really... handful or is it my hands, your hands, Elton's hands? <laughs> like, everyone's yeah. hands is just together. <laughs> Ben, yeah. you know, Ben's, <laughs> Ben's hands are in there. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I hear it. That's, like, that's you know the what same I mean? with me. I, for me, it's mainly if I know people that you've been with. Yeah, and that, that's well, the key yeah. thing. If you've been with someone that I know, it's a bit of a stumbling block for me. What's it like for like for, for girls? Women, like, yeah. Because I feel like women don't really care. Yeah. Know? Like, like do they care about body what men yeah. have been doing back in the day? They don't. I don't think so. We just want you to be respectful, be loyal. Um, yeah, we don't care about how many. I think women like men who come across as a lot of women would desire to have them. However, we do appreciate a man with that can has that. What's the word I'm looking for? That doesn't just sleep with everyone. We like that. No, not mysterious. We no, like them to have that. No, but like standards. Exclusive. A bit of standards. That, when you're telling me like, yeah, no. Nah, that uh, them, them girls there can't touch me. That that's nice to us. We're like, oh, I swear. So what about this year? So, so like, would a girl prefer a guy that's let with I don't know, let's say, two hundred girls, or a guy that's a virgin? I don't think. I think. I don't think. I don't think women would like a man that's a virgin just because we a man needs to take. The lead in that situation, and we feel that maybe you're inexperienced. So I'm gonna. You said it's a minor. Oh, it's a minor. Just because. Yeah, just just. (laughs) That was this one. Man must come with some mileage. Yeah, man. Just just because we like the idea of they know what they're doing. Yeah. But I don't think any woman would want a man who boasts about having sex with 200 girls and I just sleep with this one and that one. Yeah. You want to respect, like, a man needs to also respect himself. I was having this conversation today. I was like to my friend, when does a man get to a point where he's just like, not anyone can have me? Do you know mm. what I mean? Like, it's a, that's a good uh, place to be though. at. I feel like a yeah. maturity thing. Because when you're younger, as a man, you're more just thinking about, oh, I want to have sex. Yeah. But now, that's like, okay, at the stage, I'm like, no, I'm not just going to sleep with any girl. Yeah, that's, like that. that's what women like. We like when men get to a point where they're like, not every... Yeah, because yeah, it's happy. dead. You yeah. can't just be lucky. But yeah, women don't. Like has a woman ever asked you about your body count? Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. What, like, how many women have you slept yeah. with? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever asked a man that. Yeah, they ask, but I just say I'm not really sure. Don't count. It's been, yeah, I don't been ask that, you know. In the world. So you see, like, it's off putting for a guy to say, oh, um, I'm, yeah, like, I've slept with, like, so many women. Is it off-putting or attractive if a guy's boasting about, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a virgin? I've never Depending. met a virgin man. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? Like it's Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met a virgin man. <laughs> no, but... No, the way she said that, it's killed me. A virgin man. Like it's a myth. It's like it's a, a myth, like a dragon. Yeah. Like a drug. I've never met a virgin man. Have you heard of the virgin man? I've heard a virgin man lives over the wall. <laughs> in the wall. Oh. The virgin man in the north. The virgin man lives in the castle. <laughs> oh, no. No, honestly. <laughs> There's a field for the virgin men. <laughs> Never met the virgin man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way you say that retirement is bad. Yeah. It's true though. Where, where are they? I've never. Mm. Have you? It's none of my business. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, yeah. I think it's mad for you to go to a... Are you, what are we saying? Fam? I bought you a virgin. <laughs> like, that's, like, that's a bit mad, isn't it? Even if you want, it no, wouldn't but, tell you though. Yeah. It wouldn't tell you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, that's like, a man. I feel like any man now that's a virgin, unless he's like a true believer of, of in his faith. Yeah, like in his faith. If he's a virgin, he's gonna be moving like he's out here, or slapping down women. Yeah, acting. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna make out that easy. Because I'll be honest, if I was a non-believer and a virgin now, yeah. at 31 years old, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be what? What? lying through my teeth. Would you? You wouldn't tell people? No. Because... Why, why? Because why I feel like? like there's some men that when they get to a certain age and they're virgin, that's not by choice. Would you pay for something? What if he's Christian, though? What yeah, if he's a Christian? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just, oh, wait, 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 I, might, wait. I, 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 I might have to pay for something just to say, yo, I, yo, I'm yeah. done. But what if he's a Christianity? Open up. No, he's no, he saying, non-believer. Though. He said non-believer. Yeah. Oh, non-believer. So, so, so this is just a man that can't get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm lying. I'm gonna yeah. lie. Would you pay? Pay? Yeah. Well, if it, at this age, yeah. and I still couldn't get. Yeah. You'd have to pay. You, you'd have to pay. <laughs> I'd have a direct debit. <laughs> That's the bad. Last Friday of every month. <laughs> When you come out, we'll have a curry. He comes in and that comes straight up. <laughs> yeah, you have a curry. Yeah, we'll have a curry. Yeah, and we'll man. enjoy ourselves. Yeah, fair enough. I'll see you at the end of next month. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, got a bit sidetracked there. <laughs> Wait, have we asked? Answered it, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, time for the news then. Ready for cue the music? And we're back. Here to the streets news. Virgin man. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Tyler Gilby. Australian woman, 62, <laughs> whose husband died suddenly, wins legal permission to extract his sperm. Would you allow your mm. wife, if you passed away, to extract your sperm to further your lineage? I think that's the process. But what? That's, I didn't even Wait, know you could that? do you that. His... So, her so he's passed, passed away. She's jerked him off. They have, or wait, it says extract. So I don't know if, if I don't know how long it stays okay, in there after okay. death. Okay. But they must have had a conversation. But that's um, how well, do you if, do if that? She's, if she's won like a legal mm. battle, she wasn't allowed to do it beforehand. I didn't, I didn't know that sperm extraction existed until now. Oh, a legal battle. Yeah, it says legal permission. Why don't so. more people do that? What if they're dead? Yeah. I, it's a no, but no, but then your child's just gonna grow up like. With, it's Marvelous. your legacy. Your legacy. I would, I would give permission, but I don't know if I'd feel comfortable because I'm not around. Yeah, you're not around. Or if you shack up with some loser afterwards, and I was just raising my child. Yeah. But what yeah. if she just had the baby and just had her life with the baby? Like imagine a piece of you. Like imagine you're you're six foot in the ground, yeah, and there's a man, yeah, that's raising your child, and that child is calling him pups. What if that is his dying wish, though? Yeah. Who's if I pass away, take some of my sperm. Maybe that's why she won the case because he already said it. Yeah, she but then, like, yeah, but then there needs to be other things that's 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 gonna happen. You like we spoke about it last week about the about the family situation. The it's too much, isn't yeah. it? He can't he, like he can't be cutting the cake. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think there's there's levels to it because I I remember watching that like, Maury one time yeah, and there was a woman that had a kid and the dad died didn't it yeah. And the mum done the DNA test on behalf of her son that passed away. And the joy in the mum's face and like everyone was so happy that the son was actually, her grandson was actually hers. Because she was like, I've got a piece of my son still and I can yeah. raise him. I think I watched that. Yeah, and it was like, it was so beautiful to see. Say, so that's, that's nice. If you passed away and you're able to still have a kid there, mm. you still got a piece of you... Your legacy is there. So I, I can see, I can the, see pros the pros well. of it. Do you know what I mean? So you would say, yeah. I would have a conversation with her about I've, I've, if it happened. I've realised something today. What? Yeah. I'm not really thinking correctly, am I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when are you ever? <laughs> no, but I've, I've, I've seen it. I'm not, I'm not, you lot are being very, very mature in your art. <laughs> and, you're, and you're taking time to, 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 to think and understand the question. The and, I'm, and I'm being very, you know, just like, ah! Impulsive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, like, yeah. Do you say, what the stepdad? <laughs> raising in my youth. Yeah. yeah. No, the, the and my mom... daughter, my daughter, I, like, I wasn't nice to my daughter. Yeah, she's no. got pools of, of tears. <laughs> oh, imagine not your carpet. That's what you're thinking That's about. I should, I, should, I should be comforting her. 
We should be going to creams. <laughs> yeah. You said if your son was to get heartbreak, you're taking him to the ring and fixing him up. <laughs> That's horrible. Imagine be, that. be nice. <laughs> you're not nice. Yeah, you're not well. Yeah, I feel like in this in this life, everything isn't black and white. Mm. So we can't look at things like, okay, he's gone. He shouldn't have a kid in the world. There's there's much deeper yeah, things, man. Yeah, if you could, if I'm thinking, if I passed away and I had a chance to still have the kid out there, just please take it, take, take the sperm. And take as sperm. a woman who loves you, she might want to be like, I want to. I wanted his do kids, that. yeah. And I want to do that for you because if I can have a piece of you and that's what you wanted in the world, yeah. why wouldn't I do that? Yeah. But then there's the flip side of things. Come you know. on then. Look, look, he's in the dirt. Yeah. yeah. Now there's a there, there, there's a new man here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I loved him. I'm with you now. We can have kids and we can raise um, raise the child together. Mm-hmm. How quick how quick you gonna find this new man after I'm some, you know seen these these like, these. You know there's days, some yeah. men that will be with a woman while she's pregnant for somebody else's man. I said again, sorry. There are some men that would come along and get with a pregnant woman and go through the pregnancy even though the kid's not her, theirs. Is that a fetish? I don't know, you know. How about, what's wrong with that, though? I said, I think that's too much for me. Right. It's a little bit much. You said, what's wrong with it? Oh, because I... I <laughs> let me explain, let me explain. All right, so you can't help if two people connect. Yeah, but I don't understand. Like, right, fair enough, she's pregnant, and she just is obviously... Mm-hmm. But I... Right, you don't know the situation. So are you telling me that you would sleep not with me, a woman? Not me, not me, not me, not me, oh, not okay. me, not me. I'm saying, I'm looking at it from a perspective of... Just say, for example... She's had a one night stand with a man, yeah, and she's got pregnant, and she's like, "I'm not, I don't believe in abortion. I'm yep. keeping it." Yeah, which is fair but enough. But now yeah. I don't have a partner. Yeah. But I like you, and I get on. But the dad's not in the life, and you're like me and you get on. I can't lie. Wait until the baby's here. Would you yeah. hold her down? If I you can't lie. Yeah. Not, I said yeah, not me. Not, yeah. Not, not me. Like, like, you don't have. You not, don't need yeah. man that yeah. much to be having man. You're not connected. And she's wandering about, and you are like, carry on. Don't you not get on like a house on fire? Everything. She's pregnant. Everything's perfect, but she just happened to have a one night stand, and she's up the. No, me personally, I'm not getting involved. But I'm saying I can see how someone might be like, you know what. Oh, I love you, you for un- you. You understand. Why can't they just wait until the baby's here and then decide if they're going to be together? Like, I feel like it's very, like, it's too much. It's too it's much. too quick, isn't it? Yeah, it's very impulsive behaviour. Works behavior. for some people, though. You can't, I, I feel like you can't sleep with someone that's not, and I've, loads of people are doing that, actually, let me not judge, because some people sleep with people and it's not their kid inside them. Stop right. it. Stop it. Right. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, we ain't That's called giving a man a jacket. <laughs> Um, this one's a bit complicated, but I'll try and shorten it. 18-year-old New Orleans teen was sentenced to life for carjacking a 73-year-old woman. During the car theft, her arm fell off. Also, one of the parents identified her own daughter in the viral video and reported her to the police. She got 20 years. My question is, would you snitch on your child? if they were involved in a serious crime like this. I know what's happened to him. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> You've cracked it wide Ain't open. It's always yeah, got... It's cracked, it's cracked it wide open. Remember what I said about the daughter and heartbreak? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jail was one of the, um, was one of the consequences. <laughs> heartbreak. So you're saying... So you think that she was doing the car jacking with her man? She was doing the carjacking because she, she was heartbroken. And she, need, and, and she needed so, <laughs> another so, thing to fill the gap. It's so silly. I want to know how the baby's arm fell off. Yeah, There's a sounds, video, but we can't graphic. put it up on thing. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not snaking my child, though. I think that's mad. No, no I'm not either. But yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm yeah. only snaking my child if it's an R or... I'm still not. I would advise him to do it himself or her. Yeah. You, got, you got to go. It's just it's one of them ones where you just got to phone them up. But you know when you got to talk low, like, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> Because you're scared that it's tapped now. You feel like the phone's tapped. Are you fucking dumb? Come over to my house, you idiots. <laughs> it's, it's one of them ones. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? You know, like that. Can't talk too loud. You know, if the neighbours are listening now, just 
kind of worried. But yeah, that's what that's what I could do, boy. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's it, man. I'll take I, them to the station if it's like an off. Is that smart? No, I remember. Yeah, when I was in school, yeah, like, I got I got a, you know, I was in trouble for something, and I was getting ready to go to school, and the police came to to my house in the morning, yeah, and they arrested me. So as they've come now, obviously, like my mum's there now, and the police are there, and I'm. And I'm and I'm mad lying like I'm like what what mom come on man you know I didn't do it like, like oh, is it so anyway now they take me to the police station and then they give me like one of those of those duty solicitors isn't it so I'm thinking right you know what you know I've got I'm, yeah like I'm here now I'm with my lawyer yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm up. legal yeah. aid <laughs> yeah yeah like we're I like we're a pattern now so he doesn't give a so toss I go, about you either so, <laughs> so I go look. <laughs> Like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. I did it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but how do I tell them that I didn't, that I didn't do it? Yeah. So, so I get off. Like, she looked at me and she goes, look, honestly, tell the truth. <laughs> yeah. So I go in there now, yeah? I go in there now and then my mum comes. So, so my mum comes in now. Um, Speak to your mic in your mouth. And we're sitting down in the um, and we're sitting down in the interview um, room now. So I'm sat here, my mum's here, and the legal aid is is is, is behind me. And um, so I'm, <laughs> I'm in I'm in I'm in the room now, and I'm just confessing in it, yeah. Mm. And my mum turns and, and she turns to me and she goes, <laughs> and they go right, yeah, right. So I'm arresting you on da 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 da. I saw the legal aid yeah, look at the at the um at the officer yeah. and go. <laughs> so your mom was like, "You're an idiot." When we left there, yeah, my mom said, "Why did you even like own up to that? Like, there's no evidence, and there wasn't any evidence. Like, literally, like like there weren't no evidence. And from that day, I thought, Do you know what? You can't. They're yeah. all part of the same union. No, but yeah. That's, that's, they're they, yeah, they, he's yeah. probably But do you know what's so mad? Yeah, where mm -hmm. I went wrong was in the house, yeah. I should have pulled my my mum to the side and said, Mum, look, yeah, I've done it. Like, what do I do? But mm. instead, I thought that I had a, a patent lawyer, yeah. but the lawyer was, I was working for them. <laughs> yeah, he worked for the, he worked for the force. <laughs> 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 You've been, you been hoodwinked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, he probably Bamboo wasn't even, <laughs> like, he probably wasn't even a, a legal aid. It was, it was, it was another officer. Yeah, you know, it was, it was, was a fellow colleague. Yeah, maybe. It was a plain clothes <laughs> colleague. No, it was an undie. It was an undie. You know why that's funny? Daughter's mom saying, oh, my son's so stupid. stupid. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> oh, he's, he's an idiot. Honestly. <laughs> he's just confessing. No comment, not even a no comment. <laughs> not even yeah, no comment. Yeah. He just came in and said, look, guys. Said, right, right, it's me. It's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it. Oh, right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, it's it's to take me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was pissed. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. I was thinking about that yesterday, to be fair. Oh, my days. <laughs> he just fessed up. Um, yeah, lastly, a Russian man who tried to rob a hair salon ended up as the victim when the female shop owner overpowered him Tied him up, what? Um, stripped him of his clothes, what? and used him as a sex slave for <laughs> three days real. straight. That's not real. That's not real. Where are you getting that from, yours? This? this and that's a Russian a man. I'll, so we'll put the link. To the, <laughs> Where is I'll put the link to the full story. So a man, a woman's overpowered him, so she's bullied him up and used him as a sex slave. Stripped him down for three days. Tied him up straight, but and then just. Are you not? I forget on one key word here. <laughs> Russian. <laughs> Russian. <laughs> What's that got to do with Russian them? men are strong. <laughs> Not all. Not all. Dead, 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 dead lorry pullers. And, 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 and <laughs> what, the world's strongest man? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, for you to tie up a lorry puller, yeah, and, and strip him naked and abuse him as a, as a, as a, as a, as a sex toy. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> what, 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 what? what? Yeah, you you must got... be a Russian woman. <laughs> You're dumb. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what happened. Don't yeah, that's anything. mad still. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, if that's happened to me, I don't even think that that I can tell anybody what's happened. <laughs> Why you have to? And, like, once I've been let go, then then that's it. Like, uh, like yeah. yeah, like that's staying with me. No, I'm sorry. They got us, or the guy that was used as a sex slave for three days, Victor Jansinski. 
32, admitted to police that he had gone to the salon in fuck knows I've said mess mess on whatever in Russia. No, that's where the oh, salon is. With the intention of robbing it. And then um yeah, Olga, Zajak. That, that, come on. <laughs> um was a woman that uh, any uh, Olga. Yeah, Olga Zajak. Do you think about it? Wait, strong wait, still. wait. wait. Uh, so you're telling people when you, when you come I'm up. Right in the statement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, fact, you, so, fair man, you should I, have been there in the first place. Uh, so in the statement, yeah, you're going to put, right. Uh, I tried to rob the salon. I was tied. Oh, okay, up. okay. I've just realized. I was stripped I naked and they pushed a hairdryer in my bottom. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. They put the tongs that, in I'm, my mouth. I'm guilty though, isn't it? And pulled yeah. the tongs in and out no, of no, my no, mouth. No. Stop the statement. Stop the statement. <laughs> Stop the stupid statement. <laughs> Just, did you hear what he said? Give him blows to the tongs. <laughs> Must have they put the tongs in my mouth and out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> are you hearing this guy? They put the tongs, you know the tongs are long. Do <laughs> you know how long the tongs are? Let's say they put the tongs in my mouth, out my mouth, and in my, and in my bottom, and out my bottom. That it went in and out. You can't, you can't use tongs in that kind yeah, of way. I'm keeping that to myself. No, but in the statement, that's what they want. Because think about it, yeah. In court, yeah, in court, the prosecutor is going to ask you all, the, all these questions when you're on the stand. You can go as anonymous. I'm sure you can. He shouldn't have been in how the salon in the first place. How yeah, far yeah. did, 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 did the tongs, tongs go? First you just... Did it hit your juice? Did it hit your juice? Did you cut that? Like, <laughs> like the prosecutor is going to ask you all these questions. He's not well. He's not well. He's a sick man. Man said, how far did they push the tongs? What are you doing? Demonstrating for the jury. You have to stand up and do it. This guy is crazy. Take the tongs in your mouth and in your palm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, guys? On that note, oh, we'll be back next week. Today. <laughs> the tongs. Do you know how long tongs are? <laughs> you, have you seen the movies? No. Oh, my <laughs> no, God, no. We haven't been watching movies. the same movies. No, 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 yeah. no man. The Tyler. Power, Tyler, power, Tyler, Tyler, power, Tyler, power. You, are you seen power? I, I imagine, I've never imagine, seen tongs. Imagine in. Proctor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a doctor. No. <laughs> Questioning Phil. Cross examining Phil. Understand? <laughs> Phil will be done. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. No, Ty, please, Ty, please. Uh, before we move on oh, to questions, God, Els, well, you have to put in that picture of yourself as part of the yeah. news. Because that what, was hilarious. If thing? you haven't seen no, it. No, don't say what thing. The picture Nigerian. that. No, the picture the of you. Of you. That, 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 um, of your twin. That, yeah, that's oh, what oh, You need to yeah, put that in we'll there. We'll put yeah. it there. Ronnie from. Um, Is that his name? Ronnie. <laughs> Raising Canaan. You're looking like. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Ronnie from Raising Canaan. That was oh, funny, though. Okay. Somebody wants to know when are you going to do the gym and maths paper episode? What is that? Because <laughs> I don't... That ages ago. So, on one of the outside. episodes, um, we were meant to. Do was it GCSE? Yeah, a GCSE math paper. Okay. And I don't know what like what the prize was if you got the best score or whatever, but yeah, we was meant to do that. I don't mind. We can do it on one of these episodes. What, I don't, would yeah, you actually gonna fill it out? Not while we not record us. What about out. if I we'll come go up? home and we'll come back and then someone mark it? <laughs> okay. Cool. <So> <laughs> <laughs> okay, another question. And the glasses. <laughs> it's a splitting image, to be fair. To <laughs> sorry, sorry, to sorry go on. Um, which, what animal best describes you and why? I feel we heard that one before. Um, yeah, we, said, we definitely heard this, but I said stallion last time, remember? Said who? A stallion. What is a stallion? <laughs> a horse. A Megan. Horse, horse, it's a so, big flat horse. Yeah. <laughs> why, why do you relate to that animal? They're powerful, they're tall, hung low. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. See, see, yeah, that's, that's the man you sit next to. First. No, but that's the hairdresser talk. That's <laughs> yeah, the, that's the, the tongs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's the tongs. <laughs> what about you, look? The lion. Really? Leader. Brave. <laughs> Strong. 
punter. He's really powerful stuff. What about you, Ross? Uh, Frog? Nah. We like alligator, something. Alligator? You're done. Yeah. You're finished. Yeah, You're done. Something. You're done. Alligator, yeah, else. Yeah, explain, that... explain what you and alligator Snappy. have in common. That yeah, slow they're... ass animal. <laughs> they're quite Allig- dangerous. No, they're they quite, are. They're quite dangerous. Yeah, they're dangerous, but yeah. explain the alligator. Dangerous. Um, Patiently dangerous. Yeah. And they just. Uh, and yeah, alligator. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's alligator. Shit, so I was you just chilling in the water, just like this. You know how it's the eyes, the eyes, you know. Eyes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is what else is it? Just they think that's their disguise. <laughs> <laughs> You're done, Yeah, that's what I could come up with. Uh, alligator. <laughs> yeah, your burst, man. Man said up today. <laughs> yeah, your burst. Your burst. Just with his hat off out the top. <laughs> 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 is it? Is it? This is our top. All the other no, alligators. Come on, come on, come on. Come, 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 it's you, Els. Come on, come on, man. Els, we can see you. All the other alligators in the. Els, come on. Els, it's you. See that high top from a mile off. It's you. You're the only alligator in here with the high top. With the high top. Oh. You're not fooling anyone. Any water, Tyler? What is the most delusional thing you've ever told yourself? Ooh. Ooh. Everything's going to be all right. That is not. <laughs> that is a lie. That is a lie. You see that <laughs> statement there? It's a lie. <laughs> it's not going to be all right. It's, it's, it's not a lie. It's, it's going to be lie. okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Things are always going to come. <laughs> things are always going to come. <laughs> no matter what you do, things will always come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I don't know, you know, maybe maybe that I'd be married with kids by, like, 21. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I never said oh, what that. What a fool that was. <laughs> no, I never said that. At 21. <laughs> I'm late. I'm running late. I'm running really late. <laughs> you know. I'm running a whole decade <laughs> late, you know. <laughs> Ten years behind, I'm done. Oh my god! I'm running really late, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Probably one of them two things. Uh, Well, not the marriage thing. I never put a time or date on that. Maybe the yeah, it's all right. It's because it's not. Or like you'll say, say say to yourself, oh, um, I've been in worse situations, but the situation you're in right now is mental. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that's probably about it. Okay, last question. What is your favourite thing about the podcast? As mad as it sounds, yeah, I think the distance that we have to come to travel. Yeah, no, I don't love that. <laughs> no, I'll tell you why though, yeah, because yeah, when I come, I feel like I'm just I'm just in the zone to be on the podcast. I feel like if we had a podcast that was it like ends. 10 minutes from my house, yeah. It would be over. Yeah, like cool. I wouldn't take it seriously. Yeah, yeah, like I wouldn't take it seriously. Like you, discipline like, part yeah, of it. like you'd probably be more late. Yeah, it's so true. So I think the yeah. fact that you know, like, like even now we come on time now. So yeah, probably, probably the distance, because I know it's it's time to. It's time to. What about you, Theon? To, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I would say probably the thing that everyone likes the podcast for, the dynamic that we have. I think it's good each week that we're able to showcase our dynamic to people and they're able to get it. I think that's a good thing. I think we've got a very strong dynamic that sometimes a lot of people might try to replicate when it's natural. It's just natural, isn't it? It's just natural vibes. You can't help when you just get on and click with people. I think that's something that's sick. Yep. Else? It's going to be a shit answer, but... Come on, think of something proper now. No, I just stay with someone, man. I just like chatting shit with my friends. I just enjoy it. Not everyone can do that on a podcast and it be funny. Or be enjoyable for other people to watch. Because I might watch somebody else's podcast and it might be like friends on a panel or whatever, or on a show, and it's it's not entertaining. Mm. Yeah. Maybe just, yeah, just chatting shit with my friends. I just enjoy it. And we can talk about anything, how you look. So the alligator with a high top, you're not going to see that nowhere else. (laughs) <laughs> exactly. It's, it's exactly. <laughs> That's why you need to look into yourself. <laughs> what about you, Natalia? Um, my favorite part of the 
hot. And she hates it. No, I don't hate it. <laughs> she hates Do you know what? Yeah, it's funny because before I was even on the pod or before I was even managing the pod, I used to just come as a spectator, but it was during a very significant time in my life, which is something I will never forget. Mm. It was really uplifting for me. So that's that. The, the fact that it started like that, the journey started like that, is my favourite part. Okay, oh, it's a nice special connection. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, and for context, remember when we always forget the comments? Who's that idiot laughing in the back? It was me, yeah, hyena. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's her. Yeah, a couple of people have said, "Is that the girl that was always laughing at the back?" Yes, it's me. Well, we've had we've had a we've had a few people that didn't laugh that may have been laughing as well. Why? It won't. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> but what about you, man? <laughs> yeah. So, Els, you got a little dilemma. For oh us. shit, I'm doing it. I, well, I can set up some of it. Um, so basically, I had a friend come to me um, with a dilemma. Obviously, we'll keep her anonymous, <clears throat> and I'll give you a lot of context for it. So, she has feelings for one of her close friends. They've been close friends for over a decade. Um, so she's, I think the proper term is she's gay. And oh, the friend, he's gay? No, she's gay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the friend is bi. Okay. So it's both men is, and women. Is the friend a man? No, nah, it's a woman. Yeah. So a woman lacks another woman? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just making yeah. sure. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're all on track. But the woman she likes is bisexual. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. both men and yeah. women. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. I was gonna wipe that at the whiteboard <laughs> clean and <be> just <laughs> well, draw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, they've been friends for over a decade. She's always found her attractive, and I think like they've flirted between each other, but nothing serious has ever come of it. Mm-hmm. They've been on like holidays together. Just them two. Like, uh, yeah, like just, but you know, it's like friends. Like, how, I'm not making jokes, but like how you and Sam go on holiday. Like, yeah, Bridget. Yeah, yeah, Bridget. Or, or Jordan yeah. and Will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but no, but our, our team is different. <laughs> go on, Els. <laughs> they... Go on, Els. Els, Els, go on, go on. Finish up, man. A man to man off. Go on, go on. <laughs> go on. 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 <laughs> the scissor soldiers. You got two big scissors, man. <laughs> it's actually you two should be scissoring. Oh, what's the dilemma? Right? Are we gonna, are we gonna <laughs> fuck <laughs> off this dilemma? Are we gonna fuck off this dilemma? With a sword fight in the woods. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> you are so dumb. Yeah, I'm done. Sword <laughs> fighting in the sun. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this is like dumb. Oh, oh shit. shit. What's the oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Why can't we This is why people are not singing sorry, dilemmas. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They're no. turning to someone's problem to sword fighting in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> sword fighting in the sun. It's getting silly. Come on, man. <laughs> Stupid. Oh gosh, man. You shouldn't be doing that, boy. <laughs> you can be arrested. <laughs> Your visa revoked. Uh, what's the dilemma, sorry, sorry. man? Oh, sorry. All right, no, I'll focus, I'll focus. So, yeah, friends for a long time. They've got a great relationship. She's been out of a relationship now, the friend that she likes, for maybe six, seven months. And she's been consoling her for it. And this isn't the first time she's had to console her through like a bad breakup or a bad relationship. And she said she's at a point now where... She wants to see if you don't know. I don't know. I'd never ask that. Um, but she knows she has feelings for this girl and she wants to let it be known. But she wants to ask our advice on what she should do, whether she should do it and what she should do like moving forward, whether it's a good idea, bad idea. Yeah, like she basically just asked us what. I think the help. first thing to do would maybe be to accidentally slip and land on top of her. That was so stupid. Oh, that's dumb. That's dumb. On a whoops. What are you going to gain? I'm going to tell you, sexual assault is a real thing. So you just slip and you land on her breast. Like, oh, whoops! <laughs> then you look up slowly. Is that, is that it there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is, this is the bosom. So you slip, you land on the breast and then you just look up slowly. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> Me too. What are you gonna gain from that? Though? What are you gonna where, gain? Where's, where's where, that? Why are you gonna throw that? No, they're long. They're long. She got long sits. And then, and then you go from there. Okay. okay that's, right. That's silly advice. Um, how? How you shoot your shot? No, that's not shooting your shot. But we, so what we're is just, it? Excuse me. Okay, move now. And then you say, oh, my bad, sorry. And then, and then you know what it is? You still know. <laughs> no. She should speak to her about it mm-hmm. on a level, I think. And just say to her, listen, like, I'm going to be honest with you. This is how I felt. I didn't want it to affect our relationship. Because if she feel like she wants to tell us, I think it's time for you to tell her. I know it's hard, but you have to be honest with yourself first. Jokes aside, I don't think that she should tell her. You don't think so? No, because they've got a nice friendship. Like, yeah, don't ruin your friendship. Yeah, man. Like, There's so many people in the world. I'm just, I'm just not a big what if advocate. What you love them, though? What if she nah, loves them? Because nah, the man. thing is, though, <coughs> if she tells her and her friend does not feel the same, because you can't be friends with someone for 10 years, you're telling me, and if the feeling was mutual, something would have happened by now. Mm. So what it she's seems... Hiding, what she's hiding at the door? And, uh, no, no, but think about it, yeah? They've flown out on holiday together, like, probably seen each other naked, yeah. been a bit drunk, probably done cocaine and stuff. Like, oh surely, like, surely something would have happened. A lie? I, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I didn't, yeah. I, didn't I just feel me. like you have to weigh it up. Are you willing to risk your friendship? friendship. That's what you need to... Is it yeah, going to hurt what's you? more important? What's going to hurt you more if you... if you don't say anything and you hold your feelings and suppress them and keep your friendship? Or if you tell her and you're rejected and your friendship's ruined. She's got a small friendship group as well, to be fair, so. I don't think it's worth it. There's so many mm, people in the it, world. Man. You don't have to, I'm, I'm not a big, big advocate of dating your friends. I think if that's your friend, just keep that as your friend. Yeah. Um, because also you have, to, some people you have to remember that when someone is your friend, that is not ha- the person they are in a relationship. So you may have feelings for someone because of how they are as a friend to you. But you need to remember that when you get into a relationship with that person, you're going to start seeing sides of them that you think, oh, nah, that's not who I want as a partner. But you love them as a friend. So you actually need to think about things like that as well. But, like, uh, but at the same time, they say a lot sometimes that in some cases, not all, your best friend, your, um, some of the greatest relationships come from friends first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, I, and yeah. I 100% agree with yeah, that. I However, that. I think... You need to find friendship with the intent of it being romantic in the beginning. I don't think you should have a friend and then ruin it by trying to be romantic after. I think the intent needs to always be there from the beginning. To be friends mm, and flirt. I, I, I yeah. don't know, though. It's hard, time. It's yeah. hard because, yeah, no, I don't honestly, know, I don't know. I've seen people that have been friends, just brethrens, mm-hmm. and then they might have a little slip moment, for example, and then they're like, oh... And then they become like lovers, but because they were friends first, without it being like that, they get each other on a level where yeah, can't yeah, lie, I'm yeah. not in the mix up. Yeah. Just keep your friends, your friends. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. I've I seen think you're both right though. It's I think not that hard. Right, that there's so. so many people in the world. Why do you need to date your friends? No, you don't have. You don't need to. But I think as, it depends. And on you the know, sometimes as well. as well, yeah. I think I think maybe like you like you understand them a bit better because they're your friends. So yeah, that's a point. So like, so like you get to know them probably. A bit more better than you would if you was if you initially just went in as as you like yeah, that person. Yeah, I understand that, but still, I'm still now. Yeah, I feel, don't I feel, date your friends, man. There's oh, so many so people I, in the I, world. I, I think you're both right, but I'm probably leaning more towards towards Fion, if I'm honest. There's plenty, plenty people. But her situation no, is no, a bit mad, though. Unless you unless you believe, yeah, that that is your soulmate, and you're like, there's no one that can compare to this relationship that we're about to have then don't take the risk keep your friends your friends hard time it's not hard no people that have got married are they successful yeah, yeah and they kids but they were brethren's first and to be fair I pers- I'm just going off things that I've seen as a, and prime example it was in Fion. You're so oh, dumb. Oh, you're, you're dumb. So dumb. dumb. Let's wrap this up. Anyway, let's wrap this up, guys, man. Let's wrap this up. Sure let's wrap this up. It's been a good like, episode, man. Wow. Like, comment, Great and subscribe. Episode. Please. We need to see you in the comments. Comment whatever you want. Comment about how stupid Jordan's being today. Just comment anything you want. We need to see you comment in the comment section. Thank you very much.
Mm-hmm. And on that note, people have been uh, Big Jordy George. This has been the Combo Show, <laughs> um, formerly known as the Coppo Podcast. I've been joined here today by my mm. Mm, decades. <laughs> Els, aka Mr. Make It Up with. It's your boy if you're on the one you will come to see, man. Natala, over and out. Till next time, people. Peace. Peace.